Welcome to Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. In this video, we'll take a look at the amazing journey of our salmon. Our hatchery was built to mitigate for the impact of Grand Coulee Dam on salmon and steelhead. No fish can pass this huge dam, which cuts off a third of the Columbia River to migrating fish. We raise and release 1.2 million spring Chinook salmon every year. Our salmon are born at the hatchery and spend their first winter in indoor tanks. They are kept in raceways once they are large enough. Fresh water enters at one end and exits at the other. Cool, clean water is essential to the health of the fish. They spend one winter in the outside raceways and are released the next spring, nearly two years from when they were eggs. We do our best to keep them healthy and to protect them from predators. We release the smolt in April when they have shed their old scales and turned silvery. We pump them out of their raceways and send them to Icicle Creek. We release our salmon into Icicle Creek. They travel down the Wenatchee River. They follow the Columbia River to the ocean. It's a 500 mile trip from hatchery to ocean. Our hatchery is part of the Columbia River Basin. This huge area all drains into the Columbia River and out to the Pacific Ocean. There are many dams in the Columbia River Basin. Our fish must pass seven dams to reach the sea or to return home. Bonneville Dam, the Dalles Dam, John Day Dam, McNary Dam, Priest Rapids Dam, Wanapum Dam, and Rock Island Dam. Special tanker trucks can be used to move fish. Why not just drive the fish to the ocean? Fish must learn the way out to the ocean in order to find their way back. If we want them to come home, they have to travel downstream first. Our salmon face many dangers in the ocean from temperature conditions, availability of food, and predators. Some will come back to the hatchery the very next year. Others might spend up to four years in the ocean before returning. Adult spring Chinook start arriving at our hatchery in late May. The run continues into June. Now they must face additional dangers from predators, including anglers. The last leg of their journey is to jump up the fish ladder into our adult ponds. Our ladder is not very long and one of the easiest barriers these fish have encountered during their long journey. Here you can see fish resting at the bottom of our fish ladder before they start coming up into the adult ponds. Salmon navigate in part by scent they know what their home waters smell like. It is the odor of our well water that draws them into our adult holding ponds. As the adults arrive, we separate them into two ponds, one for males, one for females. This reduces stress and competition. The salmon won't be ready to spawn until August. They do not eat from the time they enter the Columbia River until they die after spawning. They must survive on their own stored energy. Why wait until August to spawn? Spring Chinook return upriver during a time when the water levels are high. 
but summer is coming with low water levels and high temperatures, a lousy time to be an egg. They wait all summer instead, laying their eggs when autumn is on the way, along with cooler temps and more water. The adult ponds are where the salmon will remain until August when they are ready to spawn. Visitors can watch our adult fish during the summer from a viewing platform. We hope you'll visit Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. Visits are free. Check our website for special events and activities. Come learn more about the work we do for salmon and for you.